poem is entitled Blindness. Blindness, wow. Yeah. And it goes, in the city of the dark lies desperate imaginations, a place where only the children are put. Those whose hearts are as soft as silk and like white like milk. Those people who always yell and cry, oh, I wish, how I wish I could see her face, his face, and their faces. But hey, wait, because the wall is not at the end. Let me tell you that not only you are blind, and your blindness is just by the cause of God, but there are many people here who are blind, leaders, parents, and so all sort of people are always blind there. Not physically but mm -hmm. like they have this side that they can see but they cannot see what is happening in their environments. Wow. Leaders are maltreating us, especially in Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, where people are dying because of poverty. We gave them our vote and they told us everything. But what are we seeing? Nothing but crimes. And the parents who are lying there, lying behind and leaving their kids to loiter around, making themselves drunkards, like young people of five or six years, destroying the streets, smoking, like drinking and doing all sorts of things that are very, 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 very heartbreaking. Are we not seeing these young people? Don't we know that they can be presidents, vice presidents, ministers, and all sort of people in our world? So why are we leaving them to destroy themselves in the environments where the world is very cruel to them? Let me tell you that God didn't give you these kids to destroy them in this world, but to make them better people. And let me tell you that you'll be accounted for everything that they do in this world. So be aware. Yes. Yeah. Be aware. <laughs> oh my God. Really, you you have said it all, and I think we should just stop here. Yeah, but you have said it all. Youths all over the world, why are we money treating our own kids? Have we forgotten that they are part of us? Remember, if someone should money treat you, how will you feel? It's going to be bad. And now I would love to invite my producer, no, the person, but Mohammed. Yes, Mohammed, what did you learn exactly from? Um, Angela. Yeah, yeah, Musa. Um, absolutely, the poem was extremely, you know, extremely relevant, especially you know when comparing it to our modern life. And I can remember that she was saying something like kids under the age of five years smoking, you know, engaging, one, one, uh, okay, engaging themselves in, you know, uh, just rotating, okay, rotating around in the whole city, mm -hmm. engaging themselves in bad actions, you know, which are not part of our, you know, you should not be. In fact, part of our environment. They are not moral in terms of any other aspect. So actually, I, I did admire her poem. Thank you. Um, it seems like we have a caller. Um, yes, you welcome, my dear. Hello. Hello. You welcome. Uh, thank you. The program is very important. Mm -hmm. The points. I like their points so much. You like it? Yeah. Thank you so much for calling. Now, finally, Omar N K. Yes. The floor is yours. Give us a freestyle, then we say goodbye to you. Okay. I am in the heart of the jungle without sparkle. Darkness conceals the stars and the lunar. My eyes can't even see the path. The rose sun of lions, fear packed my heart. My life sits on the dike between the bar and the sea. But you see, I thought I will depart in the jungle. I told I will depart with my electricity skull, but you see, a rainbow woman from nowhere appeared in the jungle with bangles of diamonds beaming as forging diamonds. Mm -hmm. I told she is an angel, but yes, of course, she is an angel rainbow, trustworthy as an angel. There is as rose flowers which I always water with my honey milk, rosy crown on her head, her hair too long as a giant star, dark as a tar. But the spirit of her love relieve fear from my heart. The spirit of her love renew my mind. The spirit of her love purify my heart. The spirit of her love purify my blood. See, we confabulate up to my home, lolloping on my bare food, scorpions stick my toes, but I feel no pain because her melodious voice vibrated my eardrums. At home, she leaves me in the graveyard, dreaming about her rainbow visit, but I can't remove myself in the graveyard, dreaming about her rainbow visit. I chase her like a starving cheetah, pronouncing her name in air. Rainbow, rainbow, please wait. Don't vanish away from my heart. Your love is caught in the trap of my heart. I am the only man in this art which understands the language of your heartbeats. See, from the very moment I saw your love in Allah, I knew we were destined to be together. It has been so long since your love has captured my attention, emotion, passion. So fully made my heart beat. The way it beat right now, your smile light up my entire life so many lights. 
your smile fills me with joy. Wow, that's nice. That's nice. I love it. Um, you know, it's all about love. You know, it's all about love. Um, yeah, but I'm not in love. Ah, come on! <laughs> I'm not saying that you are in love, but I'm telling you that it's all about love. And yes, Muhammad, what did you learn from the poem? Yeah, I learned a lot. The poem was, you know, very good, yeah. and he was talking about something like, you know, love and how to care about each another. Yeah. Yeah, which is very good. That's all I have. Okay, thank you very much. And now we have finally come to the conclusion of the video. And um, we want to say thank you for everyone watching us right now. And um, I want to use this opportunity to say shout out to each and everyone who is watching us right now. A big shout out to you. And I would really love to give shout out to your loved ones, your friends. Yeah, yeah. I would like to give shout outs to you know my classmates there in exam. So busy though, but he still keep the shout outs mm -hmm. to my family and to Alu. <laughs> Yeah, I will forget him this time. <laughs> but Nimori, if you are listening, a big shout out to I'll you. I will forget him this time. And every other person, like poets and any other one who is involved in things that will, you know, you know, make the world a better place for people. So I'm saying a big thank you to everyone. All right, thank you. And uh, yes, a big shout out to you. And now you can see to it that our um, YouTube is sponsoring. So please subscribe us. Type the word Y A C A M E. We are live on YouTube. And we are always live on, you know, uh, uh, on TV as well. So you can see to it that, you know, it's it's true. So would you mind to view Yakam right there? Because th those are the crew. Th those are the real crew. So you can see Yakam. And you can see um, Aman Africans. Yakam. You can see Jiko and other stuff like that. So it's amazing, you know. It's, uh, uh, it's amazing. Yes. And before we go, would you mind to give us your freestyle? Freestyle. Yeah. I am a dot of life, not a blood, not a skeleton, invisible by naked eyes. I look up from a million miles to a place called a womb. The okay, womb. thank you. And now will you love to give shout out to whoever you wishes? Yeah, I want to give shout out to all my um, poetry club members, Mindao Open Junior Secondary School, my mentors, one like Mr. Collins, Lamin Barrow, Champion, Lamin the Siege, uh, Lamin Senior, and all my boys, top foundation in Brigama, my my mom, Deram Jallo, my father, Karmo Man, she said. Okay, thank you, thank you. And now it's all about youths and children advocating for media excellence. And now we can address it most time. We say a big shout out to you. Thanks for watching us. We love you and we care for you. It's all about Yakam. You can see the kids right there. They are also trying to show out their talent. So please motivate them. Show them love. Show them care. So in order for us to achieve as much as we can. So we say goodbye till we come on your way next time.